Welcome to today's DDRX. In the coming days and weeks, I'll be talking about decrees. Job 22:28 is our anchoring scripture. Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. Decrees are authoritative order backed by the word of God. Friends, things change when we decree. We can control our world with God's word. The atmosphere shifts with our desires. And we need to learn to speak right in crisis, in seasons like this. We need to make declarations that proclaim breakthrough. We need to enforce our authority that brings freedom. And in the coming days, in the coming weeks, we want to enforce that. So when you can decree, never say never. You speak in alignment on what God is saying. And the devil cannot oppose God's words. Remember in Psalm 138 verse 2, God honors his words more than his names. Nothing can stop what God says. Now, there was a time God took a prophet, Ezekiel, to the valley of dry bones. And the Bible tells us that the bones were very dry in Ezekiel 37 verses 1 to 5. Ezekiel reported it this way, he said, And caused me to pass by them round about, and behold, there were many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. Again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord God unto this bone, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. And I will lay sinus upon you, and will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. You know, Ezekiel was a wise man. He started to prophesy. And do you know what? God turned very dry bones into mighty army. So in crisis situation like we find ourselves in 2020, we're not supposed to be complaining, but to be speaking the word of God. Let's decree. So I want to take us on this journey whereby we plant the heavens. In our world, we plant the heavens in our home, in our businesses, in our community, in our neighborhood, in our city, in our nations. Let's plant the heavens, just like Isaiah said in Isaiah 51, 16. And I've put my words in your mouth. I've covered you with the shadow of my hand, that I may plant the heavens, lay the foundations of the earth, and say to Zion, you are my people. So we need to prophesy, we need to decree. You know, the reason is that they clear the way for us. They break snares, they break traps, they remove demonic manifestation. You know, we don't have time to deal with temporary setbacks. So I want us to go on this journey together as we plan the heavens. See you tomorrow.